Hello, welcome back to my Thomcraft 4.1 tutorial series. So I'm trying to make a good progression in Thomcraft without getting too far ahead of where you might be in a real world, but it's kind of hard for me to judge what you might need. You know, we did the food farming automation, which is, you know, it's pretty early game. You need food from the beginning, so that's a good start. But what else might you need that I haven't covered in Thomcraft? Um, one thing I told you about was that there are other things besides the Goggles of Revealing you can use to get V discounts. And they're all in this enchanted fabric thing, so really important to read your Thaumonomicon. Okay, so making enchanted fabric, we know how to do that, and you can use it to get Thaumaturge's robes, Thaumaturge's leggings, and Thaumaturge's boots. Combine with your Goggles of Revealing, that's going to give you a 10% discount when you're wearing all those things. Now the bad thing is these things aren't very good as armor, so if you go out in the world, you're probably going to want something better. And in fact, Thomcraft does have armor, although I don't think their armor has the V discount, so this is more things you're going to wear around your base. So let's get these things. All we need are some enchanted fabric. These are all arcane workbench recipes. I said arcane, so I started spelling it. Enchanted fabric. Here we are. So it's the same pattern that you'd use for all of the standard armor. So the leggings are just a pattern like that. It requires aqua. There we go. Thaumaturge's leggings. So I'll get rid of my iron leggings now. Well, actually, I shouldn't. I might need armor at some point. Well, I guess I don't need armor, but. Alright, here we go. Thaumaturge's boots. And you know what? I like my boots of the Traveler better, but I just wanted to show you that you get a V discount. And what was the other thing? The Thaumaturge's robes? There we go. Get rid of my iron armor. There we go. Here I am as my thaumaturge, wearing all my gear. Kind of cool. All right, but what's actually cool is the V discount. We now are using 80% V with this Thaumium Boss Silverwood wand. That's pretty cool, pretty handy. I'm probably gonna switch my thaumaturge's boots back from my boots of the Traveler. I just like these things too much, but we'll see. I do not have Bibliocraft installed in this. Oh yeah, I'm walking so much slower now. Those have to go. Oh yeah, I I gotta have that. I guess I could put haste on them, but um, okay, it's fine for now. So we'll have an 81% V cost, so a 19% discount without that. But that's a nice thing you can use if you wear all of them and have a gold bossed um, great wood wand. You don't need to make the obsidian rod to get your silver wood wand. You can just go right to silver wood. But the obsidian wand is helpful if you want to use your excavation focus and since it regenerates Terra automatically. So that's one of the nicer things about the intermediate wands even if they don't hold as much V, you they can recharge a certain aspect. There's even a better thing we can get, I think, that will recharge all the aspects, but we'll look into that later. So, there's our Thaumaturge's stuff. So, what else can we do with some Arcane Infusion, maybe, or some Essentia? Well, one of the nice things is this Lamp of Growth, encouraging things to grow. It's pretty much like bone meal, but it just works automatically, so that's really handy. So let me get a note for this. I will solve this and be right back. Okay, so I've completed the research for the lamp of growth. It's an arcane infusion recipe. We need to put an arcane lamp on the pedestal, some gold, some earth shards, some bone meal, and we need 16 Victus, 16 Herba, and 8 Lux. I've already put those into our jars. I got the Lux from Torches, the Herba I think we already had, and the Victus. The easiest thing I could find for Victus was Barley. Wheat does not have Victus, but Barley does. 
So it's unfortunate that I can't right now farm barley. All right, let's see here. Need to get some gold. All right, and where's my wand? I think I put it in the, there, okay. All right, back to the Thalmanomicon. Lamp of growth. Okay, arcane lamp in the middle. Bone meal across, earth shard across, gold across. That shouldn't be too bad. So, bone meal across. I guess it shouldn't matter. Gold across and earth shards across. All right. The recipe has a moderate level of instability, so that shouldn't be too bad. So let's see what happens. All right, it's taking the herba. Getting the Lux and the Victus. Now we need to watch. Okay, gold, bone meal, earth shard, bone meal, earth shard. Okay, there we go, a lamp of growth. So, what do we do with this thing? Well, the first thing we're going to need is Herba Essentia. This thing is fed by that. So, let me figure out how I'm going to set this up. Be right back. Okay, so here's the setup that I went with. I've placed the jar of Herba over here on the fence. The lamp is up there on top of the glass. I moved the chest over here because it looked like he was having a few issues putting stuff away sometimes. And as you can see, it's draining the herba essentia, it's going into the lamp, and the lamp is making things grow pretty quickly. I mean, we've already got plenty of, of mature stuff, the cotton's growing, the this is now too much for them to keep up with. As straw golems, they're simply not fast enough, but that's what the lamp was designed to do. Now, it will eventually use up all the herba essentia, and it won't keep growing this fast, but um, this is a pretty nice way of making stuff grow quickly. See, look at that. I mean, we're just, we're really going on our farm now. Okay, all right, that's a good start. Let me check time, we'll see if we can do some more stuff this episode. Okay, there's plenty of time left, so let's look at the companion to the Lamp of Growth, which is the Lamp of Fertility. This is what you use if you make an animal farm. So, we need another arcane lamp. This time we need fire shards, carrot and wheat, gold. We need some bestia essentia, some granum, and some Victus. 16 Victus. Alright, I've still got 28 Victus. What else do I need? Granum and Bestia, which I bet I don't have any of. I don't see any. That's kind of a drawback to this whole Liquid Essentia system is that there's no good place to store this stuff. I mean, I've got tons of these jars lying around. Oh well. Okay, let me figure out what we're going to need to make that stuff, and I'll be right back. Okay, I use seeds to get the granum, 
and I used spider eye to get the bestia we needed. We already had enough Victus left over from last time. So going back into our artifice tab, lamp of fertility, we need an arcane lamp in the middle, carrot against wheat, gold, and fire shards. So carrot there, wheat there, gold, gold, fire, and fire. I've already put the lamp in the middle, so get out our wand and see what happens. So here we go. It's getting the bestia it needs. The Victus is coming in now. The Granum. Okay. Gold's being taken. Carrots being taken. Fire shards being taken. Okay. That was relatively painless. There we go. A lamp of fertility. So, what do we feed this thing with? We need Victus Essentia to feed this. So, let's see here. Here's our Victus jar. I don't have any animal pens, so let me go set one up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I made a little cow pen. They're all fenced in. I put the arcane, or lamp of fertility over here, and I'll put the jar of Victus right over here. As you can see, they're pretty quick to fall in love and have a baby cow. And it won't make more than eight animals, or it won't be in effect if there's more than eight of one kind of animal. Let me see here. Yeah. So we should be able to get some... some chickens. Will that work? What about pigs? There we go, the chickens fell in love. There's probably a delay between when it finds and when it acts on it. Um, I know mine, Factory Loader, has a tick down count, but there's probably nothing like that for Thomcraft here. Uh, what else could we do? Um, I guess we might as well do sheep, right? Hey, I didn't want a baby sheep. How's that going to help me? There we go. Two adult sheep. And there they go. I probably need to make the pen bigger. We've used up all the Victus, so they probably won't be doing much more. Alright, there we go. Take my lamp back. We'll see how it does a little bit later on, but here we go. A nice little animal pen where they can breed. And we don't have to go farm, you know, their food and give it to them. So, it's really kind of handy. All we need is Victus Essentia. Alright, let me go check out what else we can do. Be right back. Okay, I think we have enough time to show you the Essentia mirrors. So basically, you're probably wondering, well, I've got this alchemical furnace in my base and I'm making this Essentia. I don't want to have to keep taking the jars back over there. So what can we do about that? Well, Essentia mirrors are the way to do that. In your Thaumonomicon, by infusion, there's the magic mirror, and then this hexagonal tile, you can just purchase it after you get the magic mirror research, Essentia mirrors. So Essentia mirrors need mirrored glass, and that's in the mirror magic section. And 
mirrored glass is just quicksilver with a glass pane and you need 10 ignis and 10 earth in an arcane work table so let's see here quicksilver nope don't have either of those things right now glass pane quicksilver you need to get two you need one in your base and one at the place you want to put it so we'll make two of these and we're gonna need some V there we go one two okay so now that we have mirrored glass we can use arcane infusion to turn it into an essentia mirror we need three pieces of iron an ender pearl we're gonna need eight aqua eight eider and eight permutatio and the instability on this is high let me go check that I have enough aspects for that if I don't I'll make them and tell you what I use to make it be back in a flash okay so I used cotton seeds to get the permutatio fence gates to get the eider and water shards to get the aqua that we're gonna need to build this so what is our recipe? We need to take this glass that's in the center. In our Thalmanomicon, we have iron ingots, iron, iron, ender pearl, iron. All right, now the instability for this is high, so we'll see what happens get my wand which is probably in the work table all right here we go just pulling in the eider aqua the permutatio all right so now we're gonna stand back and watch to see what happens to our iron looks like that got taken that got taken. Ender Pearl got taken. Okay. That wasn't too bad. That was pretty easy. Alright. Let's do it again. Ender Pearl. Iron. 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 And I'm pretty sure I still have enough stuff for this. So I hope that's true, because I didn't count. I just got a bunch of it. Alright. Taking that iron. 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 Okay. Well, it was much easier than I would have anticipated. Let me go see how we have to set these up. Let's see here. Let, let's try this. I think we can set them on a piece of stone. I think you can set them on any, any surface, really. So where's my jar of herba? It's right here. So I don't know. How about this? We'll set one of them there. Now you right click it with your other Essentia mirror to link it. And you see now that it's changed. Essentia mirror is linked to blah 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 in the overworld. And don't forget to scan your Essentia mirrors. Nothing can be learned from them, huh? I would not have guessed that. And we'll get some more stones so we can put that over here. And we'll put our Sentia mirror. And there we go. The herba is flowing through the mirror, right into the lamp, and making it grow. There we go. An automated farm with Essentia from a remote location. That's not too bad. All right. That's probably a good wrapping up point. I'll catch you next time.